Join me this month for the first of my folklore Bujo themes. I can't wait to share this hen inspired cover page with you and so much more. Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell. Around here, the end of the year is a special time and that is because I'm getting my journal all set up for the year ahead. A fresh notebook, a new theme, all of that good stuff happens in December. And I recently released my 2023 yearly setup and the theme is folklore. Every year my journal has a theme and folklore and folk art, uh, I think it just fits perfectly. I'm branching out, drawing some animals, but sticking with my flowers and leaves. And if you want to learn to bullet journal and get yourself organized and inspired for 2023, you definitely want to check that video out. So it's linked in the video description. For now, let's get into our January setup. And I'll just quickly remind you that if you want to print my January cover page, that is available on Patreon. Go over there and get that. It's only two bucks a month to be a member and get all the bonus content. So what piece of folklore have I chosen for January? Well, I thought it would be fun to do Chicken Little, also known as Henny Penny, I read, which is such a better name. So for Henny Penny, we are going to draw this sweet little chicken right in the center of the page. And you start with this kind of U shape um, for the bird's body and then just sort of fluff out her tail a little bit, drop down and work out two little triangle shapes for her legs. You place a wing right in the center body and then like a really simple little diamond shape and two beady eyes is all you need for the beak and the, the face. <laughs> and then I put a little kerchief on Henny Penny. She looks quite cute. And if you don't know this piece of folklore, um, there's a little hen and an acorn hits her on the head and she thinks the sky is falling. So she runs around and tells everyone that the sky is falling. and it's a fable to warn against the dangers of like mass hysteria, I guess, which I think is quite timely in the age of social media and fake news. It's a good reminder to think critically. Um, so there's little Henny Penny. And uh, once you work out this very simple illustration in pencil, then we can grab a larger fine liner. I'm using the Mulatto Black Liners. Remember, all of my supplies are linked in the video description. You can shop them on Amazon, buy the exact same stuff as me and using those links is also just a good way to support this channel and make these videos possible, frankly. Um, so first thing I'm doing is coloring in her kerchief and I'm just gonna do a nice black and then we'll add some white detail on top. If you followed along with the yearly setup or you're in the process of doing so, I did a lot of silhouetted designs. So like the silhouette of an animal, like a rabbit or fox, and then just filled them in with lots of flowers and leaves. I want to kind of do more of a pen and ink illustration for this cover page, but I also want it to, to fit in with the rest of my yearly setup. So I think just adding that white um, floral design to her little kerchief kind of ties everything together, if that makes sense. So we'll use our, our gel pen. This is my favorite one. It's from Signo, and it is also linked in the video description. If you're looking for these supplies, we have links to everything that I use. And so we'll fill that in just very perfectly imperfect. And then what I want to do now is take a smaller nib fine liner. Um, so I did the contour drawing, which is just the outline, the line drawing with a 0.9 millimeter. Now I've switched to a 0.4. And what I'm doing is almost like a polka dot design. It's just a lot of thin little lines and we're going to cover her entire body. The only trick here is that you kind of want to follow the shape of the body. So on her chest, they're all going down with a bit of a curve. On her tail, they're going up and out following those tail feathers. And then on her face, I kind of put some around her, her, her beak and her little waddle, but it almost began to look like a beard. So just go very lightly on the face. Then you can switch to an even smaller fine liner if you have one. Remember the fine liner, fine liners, they come in all these various nib sizes and having two or three at your disposal allows you to be really wonderfully precise. So you can drop that nib size once again and we're just doing some really thin little lines to help with the shading, the depth, 
by placing those little lines on her rump. You know, it looks like the light isn't quite hitting her backside or we place some right under the wing and that makes it look like that wing is casting just a little bit of shadow. Same thing with the kerchief. And then I drew a little acorn over here and I'm just shading it in as well with lots and lots of lines and even some little scribbles. You can get a bit messy and scribbly. And if you love this sort of illustration, but you're not sure how to do the shading, I do have a video all about shading with pen, and I will link that one in the, in the video description as well. To complete the illustration, I felt like I needed a few more acorns just to kind of frame little Miss Henny Penny. So the acorns are just an oval or circle, and then you add that little rounded cap shape on the top of the oval. A little bit of grass just in a very straight line helps give the illustration a bit of a base and ground it. And then we can just write January right in the center of our page. And we've got a nice bit of negative space up above our illustration and that makes it look really sophisticated and uh, just adds to the overall effect that there's this big sky above her head and anything could be coming out of that sky. I need to shade these um, acorns a little more. You can use scribbles to shade. You can use cross hatching, which is just lines at uh, an angle to each other. But once you are done with the shading, you're going to erase all your pencil marks and that's pretty much it. We've got a sweet and simple cover page for our folk tale of Henny Penny. Let's flip the page and right underneath I'm going to do a calendar. I'm going to work a small calendar grid on the right hand side, although this will be a two page spread. And I'm just keeping these lines three squares apart. Remember the Archer and all of notebooks have dot grid paper, which makes it really easy to do calendar designs and keep everything straight. This grid is like a three by four square. Uh, we'll put in all the days of the month and then I'm going to go over everything with my fine liner and I tend to go for a thicker line like a 0.7 or 0.9 millimeter nib. So just your very basic calendar there. And then here's the fun part. We're gonna come over to the left-hand page. Just give yourself a little circle to frame the illustration, which is another little hen. And it's the same sort of design where you do that kind of U-shape, feather the tail a little bit, put the wing right in the middle, two little legs, and then just get rid of some of those pencil marks. And we're going to fill this entire uh, silhouette, I guess, in with uh, a light, warm gray. So just use like a brown or a gray for this. You only need a single marker color. So whatever brush pen you happen to have on hand. This is a nice way to start a pen illustration. It just gives you a wash of color and then you can add all the detail with your fine liner afterwards. And we're going to add some detail to that little hen. But first I want to trace a circle here and do a very perfectly imperfect wreath. So you don't have to trace a circle. It's just if you want to help keep it symmetrical, go for it. Um, but I'm just drawing all these little leaves and berries, sort of working it out in pencil first. And then once I'm happy with the shape of my messy wreath, we'll take that fine liner. This is the 0.9 millimeter nib again. And we're going to go over all those leaves and berries and just make a nice wreath for our hen illustration to sit in. I love doing black and white illustrations like this. They're very fun to draw. As I always say, keep it perfectly imperfect, a little bit whimsical, a little bit messy, and you don't have to get it done all at once. You can work on your journal throughout the month, so don't feel like it needs to be all set up January 1st. And speaking of January and starting our journal, I would love to see in the comments, are you new to journaling? Is it a, an old hobby for you? If so, how many years now have you been doing it? I think this is my fifth year bullet journaling so comment below and let me know moving right along we're going to illustrate this cute little gray hen starting with coloring in her waddle and then we'll add a details like the little curving line for the wing some simple lines for the tail feathers her eye um her eyes uh, i did too <laughs> 
And we don't even have to do an outline necessarily because the gray gives us the shape of the hen. We just need to add the details with our pen. And I think that's kind of fun. And you can give her a little, little hair, a little bit of feather on her head, <laughs> her hair. Anywho, let's move on. We're going to erase all of our pencil marks, clean that illustration up really nicely. And what I would like to do next is bring some of that messy uh, wreath illustration over over to the right hand side. So what I did is I just sketched some lines in behind the calendar, short, sort of giving me the direction of these branches. And then I'm just gonna have little branches with small oval shaped leaves tucked in behind the calendar. So I'm kind of carrying some of that um, illustration from the left onto the right, keeping everything really simple. I'd also love to know in the comments, are you here for color or for the black and white? I really tried to branch out as of 2020 and 2021, 2022, and challenge myself to get into more color illustrations, but my heart is really in the black and white, and I have gotten some comments saying um, that you're excited to see me go back there, and I frankly am excited about that, but I, I now that I've been doing color for three years, there were moments here where I was like, oh, I can think of a way to do this in color that would be really pretty. So it was fun for me to, to take the, on that challenge and branch out. Um, but yeah, comment below, color or black and white? Team color, team black and white. We put Henny Penny, the little folktale, on the left there, and then January 2023 on the right. And that completes our calendar spread with the theme for the month. Um, defined as well. Flipping over, we're going to do a goals page. I always like to have like some goals and affirmations for each month. And because the acorn is a um, very important part of this folktale, I thought, why don't we use the shape of the acorn for the goals page? No chickens here, just the acorn. And I, of course, started with that oval. Then you're doing that rounded top part on it. And then you can put a little like cap even on that. So just work it out in pencil first. And then once you're happy with the shape, you can go over everything and pen. And this is a silhouette. This is going to be filled in black entirely. So if you don't quite get it right, there's a lot of room for error and you can tweak it and change it as you color it in. And you can use a large nib fine liner for this, something like a one millimeter, or just grab a brush pen. I love the faber cap pastel pit pens and the um, the Tombow brush pens are great for these illustrations as well and just for lying down a large swath of color. With that totally filled in, let's grab a white gel pen and we're going to write goals right in the center. I do find that you can see a bit of pencil on top of your black. So if you wanna write it in pencil first, I think that's you know totally doable. And then just carefully go over it with your white gel pen. I was having some trouble with mine, just felt like the ink wasn't flowing very nicely. I think these pens in particular, they just kind of dry out easily. It's not something you're gonna have in your kit for ages. So I tend to buy a new one every six months or something like that. But if your nib is a problem for you, just try cleaning the nib of that white gel pen, shaking it a little bit. But yeah, unfortunately they do tend to sort of dry out. And I think that's what was happening with mine. Nevertheless, you can see like I got good results. I just had to try it a little bit and work it a little bit like on scrap paper. And then it was pretty much fine, but I'll definitely be ordering a new one because I can't remember the last time that I did buy one. So that's probably good. Anyway, we're gonna fill in this entire acorn silhouette with more flowers and leaves. And again, like I was saying earlier, that's really tying my January layout together with the yearly layout where I was doing lots of silhouetted animals with these very folk art, folky um, flower and leaf designs on top. And this is a really fun, chill way to decorate your journal because all you have to do is that silhouette, whether it's a rabbit or an acorn or a chicken or whatever, and then you can have fun all month long filling in these tiny little floral designs. It's the type of thing you can just sit down to for a few minutes and just relax and chill. 
So there is the goals page pretty much complete. Went over the title one more time and now I've got lots of room to write and doodle and just jot things down throughout the month. This would also be a really good design for a brain dump page. I just realized you could put brain dump on there instead and then you've got this big double page spread to write down and jot things down and kind of make a mess. Anyway, let's flip over and we are going to do a weekly layout together. And I wanted to start the year off with a really structured weekly layout, one of my favorites. And so the way you're going to do this is write or create three rectangles on each page. They're just one square apart with a, a little bit of a margin on the far right and far left. You'll write the date Monday through weekend at the top of each, put a little calendar up up there if you want the dates um, you can use any color marker for that and then I like to do a little bit of a shadow on each rectangle as well just putting a line of brush pen on the right and the bottom of each square once you've done that much your layout is set up like you could use that uh, but if you have the time you can do a little illustration up here on the top right and I'm using my brush pen my gray marker my warm gray marker it's been five years but we're still using the same gray marker um, you can comment below also if you've been here and you're like oh my gosh she's had that marker for half a decade we're just going to use the marker itself to doodle some sweet little hens you're probably getting comfortable with the shape by now they can be very doodly and perfectly imperfect uh, because then we're going to go over those chickens with our fine liner again I'm using a wider or a thicker nib gives me a nice weighty line and the gray marker illustration kind of just serves as the shading uh, and now I'll I complete the contour drawing you know with that fine liner so really simple way to approach these sweet little chicks and um, it just gets the job done sort of quickly I'm really liking the way all of this is coming together and to think I was so afraid to draw animals now look at me go <laughs> My setup is almost complete for January. Just so you know, friends, I will be taking the final two weeks of the year off to rest up. I've been sick. If you've heard, I had this miserable flu that just hung on forever and Sully has been sick and Chris, we're all getting better, but we're really going to enjoy our Christmas holiday and our time together spent resting and visiting with family this year. So I will be back in January. If you're looking for more shade of content, I do have that that brand new watercolor florals e-course. You can find that on my website, shadacampbell.com. It would make a great Christmas gift, either for a loved one or for yourself. Uh, I love a good resolution, like learn a new skill. Uh, something like that is how I love to start my year. So check it out. If you haven't seen the first e-course, which is more of a beginner basics intro to watercolor, you can actually bundle the two of them. Anywho, I did a little notes area there and I just defined it by simply doing a square wreath and yeah that's my simple weekly layout for January let's take a quick flip through my yearly theme is folklore my January theme is chicken little or henny penny so she's on the cover page and then we have this nice calendar and a goals page with the fateful acorn <laughs> this would also make a great brain dump as I said and finally a structured weekly layout that's sure to get your year off to a good start and if you don't have time to draw the cover page yourself become part of the bonus club over on patreon it's only two dollars every month to be a member and get all that extra stuff like printables and even an extra video. Patreon.com slash Shada Campbell. Have a happy new year, a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you in January.